There's always something small you can do to make a difference in someone else's day. As cheesy as that sounds, it's true. Hey, hey, hey again. Uh, sorry I actually didn't record one of these yesterday on Tuesday. It's actually Wednesday today. It's kind of late, but um, so news. My beard's finally growing back and the way I shaved it, it's really been like bugging me for the past few days. But I mean, it's exciting that it's coming back, you know, just cause that one time I screwed up when I was shaving and I was like, screw it. I just shaved it all off. Um, other than that, it's freaking freezing outside. I'm not able to walk without my face getting all numb and cold and everything. And I've been arguing with my roommates over if pigs are cute because I know for a fact they're freaking adorable. Aww. But I guess they don't seem to see eye to eye on that one. Excuse me. Um, oh, Christmas movies. Been on a binge. Friends. Been on a Friends binge. It's going pretty great. Uh, I guess I'll update you tomorrow, hopefully, with a little bit better news. But yeah. All right. See ya. Hey, guys. So it's uh, it's Monday. Uh, I've been kind of obsessed with this little thing called Pig Beach. It's pretty dope. Like there's like pigs that swim and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna show them a picture. That's a good idea. But just know pigs are like one of the cutest animals ever. And okay, uh, Josh and Josh don't believe me. Yo, um, just refer to us to Josh Squared, please. Josh Squared. Josh Thank Squared you. doesn't believe me, but they're too busy losing in games. So what did they know? Oh, damn. You had to go there. Yeah, I beat Josh in Clash, and then Josh is losing at his. Is yeah, what is? Gotta come catch it in any other FIFA. Game. FIFA. Nah, I can wow. leave, beat you in Clash any day. It's like, it's like that, huh? Yeah. Good. Just look how freaking cute. Look at how cute. That is so cute. Oh my goodness! See that one. Look at that. See, pigs are just adorable. Um, also, I'm still on the fence about that whole hamster thing. <clears throat> I thought I was done with it, but you know what? kind of want one. So uh, there's that. And uh, that's, about, that's about all. All right. See you tomorrow. Hey, I'm back. Um, so yes, I did have a lot of thoughts. First of all, it's getting dark as hell so freaking fast which kind of sucks because it's only like five o'clock and it's already like this dark, you know? But um, I don't know, like I don't see a lot of ads other than like YouTube because I don't watch cable or anything, but I was seeing ads on like all the TVs by the treadmills and like there's some weird ass ads. Like I saw one, I'm not gonna say like the name of the company, but it's a big drink company, probably like the biggest. So hint, hint, you know? But uh, they had like, this kid who like looked out his window and he saw like Santa and he gave him he gave him like the creepiest look and I was kind of thinking like hey like I'm not an expert but I was thinking like I would do it differently you know and I started thinking like what if I made ads like okay the thing is like these people are like really good at marketing they know exactly what to show like you know all that stuff down to a science so I'm not saying like I could do that because I definitely couldn't but like I was thinking like how I could do it differently and then Ads came, like, kid, or no, I saw this one ad for, like, a kid toy, and they've come a long way, because when I was younger, like, they had, like, the Hot Wheels that did, like, the little, like, you know, like, whew, they could do, like, the jump and then continue, and I thought that was freaking dope, like, the coolest thing as a kid, but I saw one in there where, like, there are a bunch of tubes that, you know, like, they're, like, hamster tubes that go together, not actual hamster tubes, but they're, like, they, like, look like the hamster tubes that go together, and they had this little tiny car that was, like, racing around and, like, going, like, everywhere, like, you can put them around the house, and then this one part there was uh, this one part where they separated and the car like went and jumped from one tube to the other. And I was like, damn, like they've come a long way. And I also started thinking about this movie I saw where like ads were taken to the next level. Or it was a TV show I saw where ads were taken to the next level where it'd be like people following you around just telling you about things and trying to get you to sign up for things. And then I started thinking like, damn, like what are ads gonna be like in the future? Cause like, hey, I mean, one day, hopefully, maybe I'll get to make ads. But then I started thinking like, you know, what are the future of ads? Like, is it actually gonna be somewhat similar to like a hologram or like someone following you around? Holograms are weird, by the way. Have you ever thought about that? Like, they show them in movies as like futuristic, like in the future there's gonna be holograms. But it seems kind of stupid. Like, can't you just have a phone call? <laughs> 
I don't know. It just kind of seems redundant. Like, do you actually need the person standing there? That's weird. That's so weird. Uh, just having, like, a copy of someone there that, like, you can, like, touch and go through and it's actually just, like, a projection. That's just odd. I don't see why that would be at all, like, useful. Yeah, I went on a little tangent. Um, but you know what? It's good. I worked off some of my energy. Some of. <laughs> uh, I definitely could have, like, put in more work, but, you know, it was just to, like, burn off the energy I had so I could actually, like, focus on, like, my work and stuff like that because I have a bunch of stuff to get caught up on. Also, this is kind of a side note, but, like, today I learned that I say wrong things at the wrong time. I mean, I've probably getting, been getting in trouble for it for, like, my whole life, but now it's, like crystal clear to where it's been pointed out to me and I'm like damn you know what I think I do do that <laughs> doo -doo. but no yeah I actually think I like say like any part any time where I could say the wrong thing like if there was a time that I should never say this specific thing even though I don't mean it in that way I, I say it like I always have a good intention when I say things but like I say them at the time where it looks wrong I don't know how to explain this because it sounds really bad when I'm explaining it but I think I'm butchering it, but like, if there was a wrong time to say something, even if the something is not bad at all, I always say it in that wrong time. That like, let's say there's a minute in the day, and at, at that very minute, things are lining up to where this, if this one thing is said, it'll be taken in the wrong way, or like, it'll just like, it's like the wrong time to say it, and I will say it in that one minute, out of 24 freaking hours, that one minute, that one thing, they align for me, and I say that wrong thing at that wrong time. If that makes sense. I think I kind of butchered the explanation, but hey, you know what? Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow with hopefully a happy update. I'm trying to take Marie on a little date, so I'm excited about that. Um, got some work to do, but I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Hey again. I don't know. I just have some stuff I didn't talk about earlier. First off, this little like fidget toy thing that I talked about in like a previous woo came in and it is freaking fantastic like I don't know it's just a little like thing that like goes like that and then like uh, that and then boom back into a square but it is just so like satisfying to like just like fidget with like I just always have it even when I was recording my podcast I had it and you didn't hear like the little annoying like sounds even my friends are like why are you carrying that thing around but I mean it is bigger than I thought it would be but like it's so freaking uh Satisfying. Also, uh, Kanye West album comes out tonight at 12. I'm super excited. I mean, I think it does. I know the Takashi 6 9 album was supposed to come out, but um, because he is facing a sentence, uh, it's not getting released in until like, I don't know. I don't know. There's, it's like a lot. It's un, uh, a lot is, a lot of that information is kind of like under wraps for right now, but I don't know, his album's not getting released tomorrow, but I hope I'm right about Kanye's because I was really hyped up for that. He's my favorite artist. Um, other than that, the only thing I can think of really is, I don't know, I've, I've had a, on my mind. Okay, there's something I actually wanted to talk about. Um, living away from home as a student, it can kind of be tough. Like a lot of people fill their time with so many things that they kind of just don't think about it. But even me, like, I am not the most family-oriented. I mean, like, some people are, like, they spend every single day with their family, all day with their family. And my family kind of gave me the space to do my own thing. But I, I don't know. I'm just in one of those moods where, like, I miss my family like crazy. And it's not just my family either. I miss my friends. Um, like, I'm missing my homies, uh, my family. It's kind of tough. But you know what? Uh, one thing I wanted to say is... You should always put in a little effort. Like, I don't know, when you're with, when you have the chance to spend time with them and you're like, oh no, like I'm tired, you know, like I got stuff to do, a little bit of effort. I mean, like you can always just send them a text, let them know that like, you know, you appreciate them or something like that. I mean, hey, <laughs> it's kind of weird to text your homies and say, yo, bro, I miss you. But like, hey, you know what? If you do, you do. You should let them know. They're appreciated, you know? Or just give them a little motivation. Be like, you got this, son. Okay, that sounded really weird. Just be like, you got this, bro. You got this. Whatever it is, exams, you know, school, friends, relationships, whatever it is, 
life, you got this. Just be like, hope you have a great day. You know, little things. There's little things you can do in every, uh, in any part in your day that can make a difference in someone else's life. Which is also something I was thinking of. It's like, a lot of people when they don't know how to communicate, might like make up for it by like, oh, hey, like, hey, I got you something. And then kind of think that makes up for it. But I don't know. Spending time with people in your life, I, I know you only have so much time and it gets tough, especially when you have like, say, I mean, I, I'm i a different case, like I'm very fortunate, I don't work, but say you have a job, school, and you try to have a social life on top of that, or like you have clubs or sports that you're into, like it just gets so time consuming to like deal out your, your whole, like you're dealing out all your time on other things. There's no time for like texting or you know, sitting down and thinking because you're just so busy all the time. But hey, you know what? I'm trying to say like a, a little text or a call or, you know, just send them like, I don't know, like a little gift. Okay, I know I just said that contradicts what I said earlier, but just let them know that you're in your thoughts. There's little things you can do. Okay, let me just say this. No matter who it is and no matter what's going on, there's little things you can do at any time just to let someone know I don't know how to say this. Okay. This is going to be it. There's always something small you can do to make a difference in someone else's day. As cheesy as that sounds, it's true. So you know what? If there's someone you, you care about, just let them know that they're appreciated. Give them some motivation, you know? Tell them they've got this. Maybe just send like a, hey, like I hope your day is great. Just little things. Little things. Um, so maybe, hey, if there's someone special in your life right now, just let them know that they're appreciated. Also, this is a very side, this is a side note that has nothing to do with that, but like for the first time, like I'm finally growing facial hair here so I can finally do like the whole like, but that's like an old man thing. That's like, that's what my dad has. Okay, not to say that he's an old man, but like he has that like style. I can finally like, you know, pull it off. This is a weird one. Anyways, I've been thinking about like, oh, I talked about making a studio earlier. I've also been thinking about like, I already told you that. Okay, anyways, yeah, now I guess I'll see you <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Peace. Hey, so it's Friday, finally. Um, so Kanye's album has not come out yet. That was kind of, like, I've been looking since 12 o'clock last night because that's when it, like, officially, all the new music comes out on Apple Music, like, on Friday. So Thursday night, you know, 12 o'clock when it's technically Friday. Um, but it hasn't come out. Uh, so I am, I talked about that date that I'm taking Marie on or the special things I'm planning. I got her flowers. I got her one, um, red kind of flower because that's her favorite color. A yellow, like spiky flower because she said she really likes flowers that are like spiky. And she wouldn't tell me what her favorite flower was because she didn't want me to get her flowers. But, you know, I kind of just had to work around what I was able to figure out with my little spy skills. And then like a big white it's called a mum flower it's supposed to be like a little cloud sitting on a on a the thing the it's supposed to look like a little cloud like a little poof and the thing is she loves poofs so i was like oh that's cute like i got like all that and then um yeah this place is great i uh, got some great flowers and i also got her dark chocolate which she really likes uh a brand that I was told is good and recommended because I don't really eat that much dark chocolate. And then I also am making her dinner and I made her an omelet for breakfast to wake her up or to like give to her when she woke up. So today is a good day. We're going to see Creed. She doesn't know that yet, but um, I guess we'll let you know how the movie is uh, after we see it. I'm excited. Friday's great. And I'll see you later. Let you know how it was. See ya. All right, so change of plans. Uh, the Creed movie didn't work out because I got this time screwed up. It was actually 7.15 and I went there for 7.45. Whoops. Uh, but we ended up going to Kakoa, which is like this like dessert fondue crepe place. And, um, and then the fire alarm went off. And now, I don't know if you can see in the back, there's like a bunch of fire trucks, but like 
it wasn't in our building it was in the building like beside it i think and it was just this piercing loud noise going over and over and over again and they were saying we could say and like people were having normal conversations as if nothing was happening right and then marie over here just goes like oh like what what's going on are you okay like do you hear something or something like that making me think i'm some like crazy person hearing some loud noise in my own head yeah you had me thinking i was going nuts for a second and I hear people like laughing, just having a normal conversation. And even when we left, they're like, oh, like you don't want to stay and like get your fondue. And I'm like, no, we going out, get out of here. Oh, there's another one. There's another fire truck. Damn. Ready, ready, ready? Here it is, it's coming behind me. It's coming behind me, it's coming behind me. There it is, there it is. Okay, anyways, uh, our date has been pretty great and uh, didn't turn out how we planned it, but it's gonna be great. Okay, all right, see ya. So we found out a little bit more about the fire trucks. Apparently there was like a, like a robbery or something. Shh. Supposedly, allegedly, that's the word on the street. And uh, yeah, so okay, if tonight taught me anything, it's you can take a failed situation and turn into something amazing you know just go along with things make it an adventure even if things don't go your way you can make them great so i'm gonna leave you with that one and yeah that's it mad at also side note kanye never released his album and it is making me so frustrated because i've been refreshing it every hour for like the entire day since like 12 o'clock and i looked up the news sources and they say that he might have postponed it again but there's no like actual news on it i heard there might have been like a some type of robbery which is very scary if it's true but i don't know there's speculation that it could just be a false story made up to like sell the album but anyways i'm frustrated unless it's true then i'm Sorry that I'm so frustrated, but I want that album. It's not out yet. I'm excited.